All right, people, we made it full circle, finally. All the deck profiles for this week are done, and uh, this is close to the end, you know. This, the decks that are currently on Daily Duels of this month uh, are the final lineup for Daily Duels. Uh, so we are we have less than a month, less than a month now, including weekend. It ends on November 2nd. Uh, with that, I'm trying to think if we're going to do something special. I'm thinking possibly we can just do like a big finale live stream where we play with all the current decks, you know, we tag, we do all them things, you know. Uh, and uh, then I'll just do farewell deck profiles in that big old, you know, that, that one video. All, four, all five of the deck, deck profiles, bam, 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 right there in a row. Which, of course, as I say, if we're tagging, we're dueling uh, and tag, and we, we'll do that accordingly, and you'll see the decks in the live stream. But, as I said, we, we got a cool minute. Anyway, Ancient Gears. Uh, this deck was interesting because it slowly got more cards as it went through the daily duels, you know? Each week it seems like, it's like, hey, new anti gear card, new anti gear card, new anti gear card. And by the end, the deck that started in the beginning doesn't look anything the same as the cards in the end because in the beginning we just didn't have some of these cards. So, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. So, uh, starting off, we I run two Ancient Gear Reactor Dragons. The reason why I run two Ancient Gear Reactor Dragons is because I want to get the double playoff. So, if I ever go Gear Town... Catapults. I want to make sure that both of them. If if I want, if I want, both of those summons could be Ancient Gear, uh, Reactor Dragon, Attack Tank, Amazing Effect, Pop Two of your back row. So you already know. So that's the reason I run two. I know some decks only have one, but in exchange, I don't run any. You know, of the regular dragon, the regular Ancient Gear Dragon, because I just don't feel like you need it anymore. Because now you got this better dragon. The only reason why you ran the dragon is because it was like one of the best you can go into. But this is even better. You know, the only thing that sucks is that this is level nine, so it's not a way to trend. But we don't have to worry about getting trading targets. We have plenty of ways to get into our trading targets. We run three Ancient Gear Golem. He's the main guy. You know, he can go into mostly this, but he can go in the other place too. You can trigger with Fusion Contraption, and that that plays just strong as well. I mean, come on, he's a searcher. Uh, He's the only one with Ancient Gear Golem has his name, because uh, we have run two Ancient Gear Golem, but he doesn't count for this. I mean, that's rip. That really is rip. But it was nice to deck then be able to go Toon Table, Toon Table, Toon Table. Uh, Toon Table into Ancient Gear, Toon Ancient Gear Golem, you know? Trade in the Toon Ancient Gear Golem. So now it's another target for Ancient Gear, but it's high consistency search well, and it's a trading target. So uh, I was running three, but it's getting a little cocky at three, so I cut it down to two. Uh, <coughs> we run uh, three Ancient Gear Hound. So. Um, at first, I thought this guy was kind of shitty, but then he actually turned out to be one of the best Ancient Gear monsters. Like, do not sleep on Ancient Gear Hound. He's normal summon flip 600, who cares? But no. Uh, and then, if this card is attached to your opponent, can't activate any spells or traps. Ten, he has six, you know, he has a thousand tag. He ain't doing shit, you know. But no. This is a great effect. Is once per turn, you can fusion summon an Ancient Gear monster from your extract using monsters in your hand or field as tuning material, so you don't even need poly. So you can just straight up summon him. Burn for 600, and then fuse another Ancient Gear monster into this. If you have Ancient Gear going, plus you know, one more Ancient Gear. If you this, you have four Ancient Gear. Or you can fuse into this, and this guy, I mean, he's just fantastic. Like, this into this is just like, yes, you know. So definitely, I, if you're running Ancient Gears, you run three of Hound. Like, don't sleep on Hound. He, he's good. You run three, Ancient Gear Wyvern. He's good as well. He's your strategy. You don't want someone to supposed to summon add an Ancient Gear card from your deck your hand, whether that be Ancient Gear Catapult or Ancient Gear Fortress or one of your Ancient Gear monsters. It's all good, you know. So, uh, there have been plenty of times where I'll just summon an Ancient Gear Wyvern and he'll search for another Ancient Gear monster and then I'll be planning and not going to be play Power Bond in OTK. And this deck, this deck can kill you. Like, do not sleep on this deck. This deck will murderize you. So, uh, it, it, it's a very strong deck. I can possibly see it being like a tier 2. A uh, potential tier 2. Uh, so, the only thing that sucks is that uh, uh, you cannot set cards for the rest of the turn if you do this. So, uh, I mean, you don't see. There's there's no back row. We don't got time for that back row shit. We're, we're going for the, you know, we're going for the jugular. But, uh... You cannot set first turn. Just set, set what you wanted to set first, and which kind of contradicts what I say because I always say set main phase two, but you generally want to summon this in main phase one, get your search, and then you know attack with it. But you know, set first, summon, get your search. You know, discard attacks, and your opponent cannot activate uh, monster effects until the end of damage step. So that's nice as well. You know, uh, some of them block spells and traps. Some block monster effects. This is just straight up amazing. This is all. So it's nice. It's nice. And then Tim Maxi's this deck wants to go second. When you want to go second, and guaranteed, run your, your double Maxi. Rip, that is, you know, it's got semi-limited. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they limited next format, but uh, I mean, it's Maxi, it's so good. So good, you just drop the Maxi. If they're smart, they'll stop, which is just better for you, because it means that they have less shit they have to worry about. And if they keep going, take a Maxi challenge, then you got more resources to do your plays and go for the kill, so. Uh, like I said, the monster count is not that high, you know, it's only 15 monsters, uh, but like I said, we have high consistency, high searching, high summoning from the deck, so, um, 
It ran triple gear town. It ran triple terraforming because I want that fucking gear town. Get that gear town. We're not using it. I don't think I've ever used it for that that last tribute summon. I'm not tribute summoning. Fuck that. No. If this card is destroyed, uh, if I wish it said if when this card is destroyed, it, miss, it miss, does miss timing. Rip. Uh, then you can summon an ancient gear monster from your hand deck or graveyard. So it's so, but especially with catapult, like these two together. Like, oh my god, yes. Uh, uh, he said it does miss timing, so that kind of sucks. That actually kind of happened to me, but no. And you can't do the whole gear town, then put another fill spell on top, and then technically be destroyed to summon. No, you can't do that anymore. No, that ruling got changed a couple years ago, so rip on that. One, three, ancient gear catapults card. So good if you control a monster, you can target face up card you control, destroy it if you do special summon an ancient gear monster from your decks, ignoring summoning conditions. So you have gear town, you have catapult, you pop the cat the gear town with the catapult, you're summoning two ancient gear monsters. That can be two reactors, that can be, you know, that could be Wyvern to get a search, that could be, you know, Highland to do a, uh, a fusion zone play, like it could be ancient gear golem because ignoring summoning conditions. It's just so good. It really is. It's just so good. Uh, so that's the second effect. This card is in your graveyard. You can target one face up card you control, so you can target another gear town. If you get another one next turn, Turn, uh, and then destroy it and summon the token, but who cares? You get to you know, pop another uh, gear town. Uh, you can only activate each effect of catapult once per turn, once that turn actually lost me a duel because I thought you got to read both effects per turn, but no, you can only do one, so you gotta you know, wait a turn after you do the first effect, but it's still nice. And with you know, triple terraforming and a good chance I'm gonna grab me another gear town, play another gear town, and you know, do it all over again. Run triple ancient gear fortress. I don't really like this card. I really don't. Like, I was thinking, and I probably would cut one of these down, cut down to two for Upstar Combo. Because, god damn, this card can be dead as a motherfucker. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of the, you know, see the next card. And sometimes I would rather see the next card than see multiple fortresses. Because, ugh. But fortress is good. Uh, and trigger monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects to turn that their normal some specials I'm in. So you can go for the jugular and you're putting shit your opponent can do. Uh, your opponent cannot respond to the activation of an ancient gear card or effect, so they can't even, you know, solemn strike this. Like you summon this and get the effect, they can't even strike it. It's pretty good. Uh, but uh, this card and your pillow trap card is destroyed. Uh, you can special summon an ancient gear monster from your hand or graveyard. Uh, also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for ancient gear monsters. But the fact that it's not from the deck like this and this just makes it kind of, eh, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I get to summon from the the my hand. That's just that's not plusing, you know. In the graveyard, if I have ancient gear monsters go right, and it doesn't even you know ignore summoning conditions, so it's not even like I can summon ancient gear golem. So I'd say out of out of all of this, I think this is the weaker one. So uh, it was getting kind of cloggy at too. So you know, I I was thinking about doing it, and I was like, screw it, let's do it. It's it's down to now. Uh, we run triple trading because we have these, and I mean, we can get like, like literally, like you think that we only have eight targets. We got like ten. We got like ten. We can get our ancient gear cult into our hand. So definitely trade and trade and draw and get deeper into your deck for more plays. You know, uh, run triple twin twister and the two double cycle. I think this is the correct ratio: triple twin twister, double cycle, and two double cyclone. Uh, so you want you deadly double cyclone target your good time target when your opponent's cards to control. Hopefully they don't activate it because you're timing and then your time will go off and summon for you. You know, or your catapult or your fortress. You know, so it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, then we run uh, triple power bomb, triple power bomb. Yes, you know this deck. It goes for the kill. It goes for the fucking kill, man. You play power bomb. You summon your monster. It attack is double. You're summoning like a 44 monster that goes up to 88 with pure damage. You know you can easily kill your opponent and you know think nothing of it. You know just super super good. You know that's the potential of being kicked to just the OTK potential. Run triple pot of cupidity. It's a 50 card dapper running cupidity. You know we have a lot of things at three 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 three. So cupidity. That's fine. I don't. I don't I don't mind the incense banishing a couple cards to make sure I get that plus one to go for the kill. Uh, then I already talked about the terraformings for the gear time. Uh, then the two fusion conscriptions, because you can get your ancient gear golem. You can't summon it to turn, but you, I'm, I'm seriously downplaying on summoning ancient gear golem. I'm probably going to use it for a fusion or for a trade and so. Then the two tables, because it's decked in, decked in, tune table, tune table, the tune table, the tune table, the tune table, the, tune table, the ancient gear golem. And that's only like four cards out of my deck, so that's pretty good. You know? And then trade it in, <laughs> or infuse with it, whatever. Uh, you run the Regeki into Dark Holes because I want to clear your field. You know, I want to hit you with the Dark Hole, the Regeki, hit you with the Tin Twister, and then go for the Juggler with the Power Bond and the Ultimate Chinger Golem and kill you. You know, it's kind of like uh, an anti Mills, pretty much. Uh, and we run the one limit removal. I don't care if my monsters die. I don't, don't end phase because we're not going to get to anything. I'm going to double my attack and you're going to die. That's pretty much just a bit. And then the Upstar Goblin I just put in there because I enjoy the, seeing the next card. I really think the Upstar Goblin is so great that it might be to the point of potential of running in a 40 deck to a 41 card deck. Just because if you get it, you get to play it and see that next draw that you wouldn't see until the next draw, especially going first. So uh, Unless you're going for like an OTK, but it's still nice to see in case, you know. 
Uh, you don't know, because that next card could be the exact card that you need to, you know, do your play. Alright, extra deck, the uh, one ultimate ancient gear golem, I usually summon him and go for a game. Uh, the one ancient gear chaos giant, he's good, but he's unaffected by spells and traps, so it's actually a mistake where I went into power bond, and I thought he was going to go up to 9,000, and he's unaffected by the power bond, and I ended up losing that duel because of that, so, because I totally took that 45, uh, there's the end phase. Uh, he's pretty good, he's pretty good, uh, he's unaffected by spells and traps, uh, he has like, um, Armadies for your monster effects, busters, your opponent's possession. So even like, you know, like Battle Fader or, or Gorge or something cannot activate their effects during the battle phase period. So it's, it's kind of like that Meteor Burst Dragon. Uh, and I can attack all your opponent's monsters once each, and if I do, I inflict pierce damage. So you have a whole bunch of monsters. I'll just go attack, 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 and hopefully when he hits the field, he goes for game. Hopefully. So we run triple of our Ancient Gear Devil because he is just so good. Like, so you could probably cut him down to two and then maybe run Increase these if you need to. I didn't really got too much play testing of uh, this format of this deck. I only got it from like one video because the deck kept on constantly changing. But uh, I don't think I ever even summoned Ancient Gear Devil. My god, he's so good. He's just made with two Ancient Gear monsters. He can literally just summon Ancient Gear Hound and infuse with any other Ancient Gear monster going to him. Uh, it's unaffected by card effects. You know, they can't Castell you. They can't, you know, they can't Orgaki. You can't do anything like that. Uh, during your main phase, you flicked a, a, a thousand, okay, so you like summon, flick to standard, fuse and this, flick a thousand, I mean, every little bit of chip damage does, I mean, gets you close to just killing off your opponent with the ultimate entry you're going, so there's nothing to scoff at, but the, 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 the real th good thing about it is this card is the draw battle, which is probably how it's going to die, you know, hopefully you don't get killed by Utopia Lightning, instead of the great value, you can special summon one entry your monster from your deck and going summon negation, so you can summon this, you can summon this, you can summon this, you can summon this, can summon this and get a search, so it's really good, it's really good, like, this is one of the best cards that they made, and it just makes Hounds so much better. You know, this is the reason why you don't sleep on Hounds, because of an ancient gear devil. Alright, Castell, Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, the Gear Guide to X to Detach, get the Search, and my usual rank 8 plays because of, uh, we have some 8s. I don't think I've ever busted out two 8s, but, I mean, if I do, I like to have this toolbox of so one Hope, one Felgrand, then our, uh, Cypher Dragon to our full armor to our Cypher Blade to pop two cards. I've, I've talked about this in tandem a lot. And then, because we have two level nines, just in case, we have our one Phantom Fortress, uh, as Sir Blan, 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 or whatever, because he can banish from anywhere non targeting, so it's pretty good. And 2900 sets of Scott that. So if I had these two and I, you know, I really want to clear out house, I can just like, see these two, main phase two, and do this, and then banish another card or pick something out of my opponent's hand, or whatever. It's all good. And uh, there we go, people. So there is the deck profile for Ancient Gear. So you can go ahead and take it, play test it, make some changes, do whatever you want. And we are now done. Finally, we're done. Like, whenever we have to do all these deck profiles in addition to daily duels, all this week is just so tiring. So the decks that are currently on daily duels, I mean, that is it. That's the final lineup for daily duels. So uh, if you have not seen it already, the deck that will be replacing this on Fridays, which is Tremens, is already up. That's what I'm planning on. I'm thinking maybe a live stream, potentially a live stream where we just play with all the decks, tag with other people, you know, which I'm going to tag with. There's a big, huge grand finale live stream for Daily Duels. Wrap it up, do all the deck profiles in the live stream, and then just upload as one big old grand video, and that will be the end of Daily Duels. You know, but it's not the end of it at all, because what will be replacing Daily Duels will pretty much just be Daniel I'm thinking, like I said, I'm still thinking, and we got a cool but I'm just thinking I'm just doing a series called Daniel Duels, where it's literally like the Vimeo live stream, except I don't have to play with your bell decks only, you know, I can play with whatever, so if it's just like, hey, you know, let's play some engine gears, bam, let's go, engine gears, you know, let's play with whatever, play whatever we want, do whatever we want, it's, you know, it's more of a casual live stream, just, you know, this is Vimeo live, live stream, we only play your bell here, if you don't like it, then you, fuck you, you know, so, we can... I'm thinking, you know, potentially we can do, like, I'm live stream, keep it on Saturday. Then this live stream, da uh, Daniel Duels, can be on, uh, you know, Sundays. Then I can do, like, stream highlights of both. Because, I mean, I upload this, the live stream, but they don't get too many views, you know. I don't think anybody wants to sit there for two hours and actually watch it if they missed it. So, what I was thinking about doing is doing highlights. Where I'm going to upload the highlights. I'm mean, probably going to upload them, like, Tuesday and Thursday. Highlights, you watch the highlights, you're like, oh, this is interesting. And if you want to watch the whole stream, it will be a link in the description. You can click the link in the description because it will be enlisted. Go there and watch the whole stream. More power to you, you know, but it won't be in your sub box. It won't be bugging you, and you won't feel obligated to watch it, you know. And then, like I said, card review will probably still be on Monday. Fake card Friday on Friday. And what I'm still thinking about doing on Wednesday, and like I said, we'll talk about this in discussion when we get a little closer. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, you know. Uh, there's a handful of Yu-Gi-Oh! video games I wouldn't mind playing. And, you know, it would kind of harpen back to when I was doing Let's Plays on the channel. And you'd still, you get uploads from me Monday through Wednesday, live streams on 
I mean, Monday, 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 through, fr Monday through Friday, the uploads from me, we do live streaming on Saturday and Sunday, you'll be doing something Yu-Gi-Oh! related would be done every single day of the week, but I won't be spamming your upload, you know, we'll be cutting the upload count down from like 11 down to like 7, no, 5, 5, 5, you know, cut it down for 5, you know, because you don't want to get uploads during the week, so I won't spam you as much, you know, I think it'd be, make my, my schedule a little bit more flexible, I wouldn't have to play Yu-Gi-Oh! every single day, I wouldn't be burnt out, because, you know, I'd be a little bit more excited to do, like, if I'm live, live streaming stuff, because, you know, it's just like, wow, I just played fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! every single day, you know, this past week, and I've got to do it if I'm live streaming, and play Yu-Gi-Oh! for another two hours, you know, I'm just, you know, you know, just, I pretty much chillax, you know, outside of just doing that Yu-Gi-Oh! video game, which I'd probably just do it in bulk, I'd probably just sit down and record, like, a two, three hour session and cut it up in pieces and upload it, but, uh, you know, card review, that, that, you know, I don't have to play Yu-Gi-Oh, Fake Offer, I don't have to play Yu-Gi-Oh, the highlights, I just, it would just be from the previous, uh, weekend, you know, and then playing the Yu-Gi-Oh game, I just, like I said, I'd record and cut it up into pieces and upload it, so I'd literally have the entire week of just chillaxing, don't play with Yu-Gi-Oh, and then on the weekends, bam, it's Yu-Gi-Oh time, let's play, you know, so I wouldn't get burnt out. And then I also think that it'd be uh, better for the channel to network as well. Overall, I think that the channel changes and the ending of Daily Duels is just going to be really fantastic for the channel. But as like I said, I'll leave it to your opinion and we'll talk more accordingly when we get a little bit closer. Maybe in the, like at the end of October. Uh, and then, of course, when we upload League, League would just go during the weekend. So we would live stream. Well, probably, like I said, I'd probably still keep it at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we'd live stream until like 12 o'clock. Then at 12 o'clock, you'd get the first match of uh, you get your draft league, and then at 2 p.m., you'd get the second match, you know? So, league just fits right in there. Just bam, there's league. So, you enjoy you enjoy me for live streams on Saturdays and Sundays, and then you get league on Saturdays and Sundays as well. So, overall, I just think that the channel is going to evolve and be stronger, be better, uh, and hopefully I can network a little bit more. I think that's my weak point, you know, is that I don't network too much uh, because I feel like people come to my channel, I spam people don't like it, you know, so, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, this video's going longer than uh, I, I wanted it to, kind of, just, I'm just blabbing about all this shit, the, the, the future, but, this is here now, here is the Ancient Gear deck profile, so, uh, maybe with our new Daniel Duel series or whatever, and maybe I'll be the last time, because generally in Daily Duels, we see a deck, it goes off, and it just disappears from existence, but, Daily Duels, if we want to come back and play some Ancient Gears, I get some new support or whatever, we don't have to, you know, vote on the deck and wait for months on months on months, you know, and just, we play it, we play it, you know, so, Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. You guys know I work very hard in this channel for you guys. I, I do a lot. And I hope that you guys appreciate it. And I know you do by hitting that like button and, you know, helping me network. And hopefully my channel will grow. I've been kind of stuck at, like, 2K for a couple years now. So I definitely want to grow. I definitely want to make 3K, 4K, 5K, you know. Hopefully, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Chair Draft League Season 2 will allow me to grow bigger. And the rest of the content will be uh, what people want to see on my channel as well. They'll click the, the subscribe button and they'll stay in my channel will grow now maybe potentially grow into like a medium sized youtuber even the size of stew dog i'd be happy so uh thanks for watching thanks for the support and finally we're done with all our deck profiles thanks for watching